119. So today we will start that in continuation of the photosynthesis and the, in the previous class we have learned about the C4 cycle. Is that? C4 cycle, we learned, we have learned the difference between C3 and C4, is it? So today we learned another process that is very, very important and takes place in C3 plants that is called the photorespiration. This is a special type of respiration, we can say. This is not the normal respiration, okay? Here it is photorespiration, means it is light dependent, is it? This is a light dependent process. Like the photosynthesis, that synthesis is light dependent. Here also photorespiration is light dependent. In normal respiration, what happened? That we take in oxygen, is it? and release carbon dioxide. But the process is not light dependent. It is we carry out respiration throughout the day, night, whether light is present or absent, that does not affect the process, okay? So oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released. In plant, particularly in C3 plant, what happened that oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released, but where it is in the photosynthetic system. Plant carry out respiration also. This is the normal and takes place in the mitochondria where oxygen is consumed and carbon dioxide is absorbed. But if the same process takes place in the photosynthetic system that in the chloroplast, then it is the photorespiration. So, it is sometimes defined as the light dependent intake of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide in the photosynthetic system that is known as photorespiration. See here that the definition of the photorespiration, the light dependent absorption of oxygen and release of Sorry, here it is a release of carbon dioxide. A release of this one will be carbon dioxide. Light dependent absorption of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide in the photosynthetic system that is in chloroplast is called the photorespiration. And these things occur only in C3 plants. In the 
difference between the C3 and C4 plants. So we have learned that in C4 plant, this photorespiration does not take place. Photorespiration does not take place. So what happened that in the C3 plant, particularly in the that in dark reaction, dark reaction, there the enzyme Rubisco Rubisco is very, very important. And this one has dual function that is is function as carboxylase as well as oxygenase. So when oxygen is in excess, when enough oxygen is present in the chloroplast, then this Rubisco enzyme can ab help to absorb some oxygen. Okay, it help to absorb carbon dioxide, but it can help to absorb oxygen also. So it carry out the function of as a oxygenase. And when it absorb oxygen, say the RUBP RUBP normally what it does it it absorb carbon dioxide and when it absorb carbon dioxide in presence of Rubisco enzyme it produce two molecule of two molecule of PGA, phosphoglyceric acid. And this PGA is further reduced to PGAL, is it? And then from here, we find that the sugar is produced, is it? Sugar is produced, but when this here, this Rubisco is functioning as a carboxylase function. Okay. But when this Rubisco behave in a different way, that RUBP, ribulose biphosphate, it absorbs oxygen in presence of the same enzyme then it produce two type of molecules one is one molecule of pga phosphoglyceric acid and one molecule of Phosphoglyceric acid. Sorry. one molecule of phosphoglycolic acid okay this is this one is this is a three carbon compound and this one is two carbon compound naturally 
here see this is a five carbon compound this one is there is a no carbon in this so naturally this five carbon compound is split into two one three carbon compound and another one is two carbon compound because there is no carbon here okay so it is absorbing oxygen so here the rubisco is functioning as oxygenase okay this one this phosphoglycolic acid cannot go into the calvin cycle so this one is not in the calvin cycle that is no c3 cycle this one goes to c3 cycle and produce sugar so here you can say that the sugar production as the phosphoglycinic acid production has become half is it so we can say that the photosynthesis rate also has been decreased by 50% is it directly it is decreased by 50% if oxygen is absorbed so this reduction of the rate of photosynthesis due to due to the absorption of oxygen or high concentration of oxygen that is due to photo respiration this is now this glycolyse uh, glyco phosphoglycolic acid will enter into a cyclic pathway and that one is known as photo respiratory pathway okay this is this one enter in the photo respiratory pathway and this pathway require the involvement of chloroplast another this cell organelles called peroxisome and mitochondria in this process in the photorespiratory pathway there is no production of sugar in this pathway here no production of of sugar okay so naturally there is loss in the sugar production so due to this due to this dual nature of the rubisco enzyme the rate of photosynthesis is reduced at least by 50% and this process in this here it is what is happening this absorption of oxygen is taking place in the chloroplast okay because this enzyme is present in the chloroplast so oxygen is absorbed and this respiratory pathway when it is moving through this one cell organelles to the another cell organelles there is a release of carbon dioxide okay so what is happening that oxygen is absorbed 
carbon dioxide is released. So it is like the respiration. We can compare it that it is like respiration. In respiration, oxygen is absorbed, carbon dioxide is released. Here also in the photosynthetic system, due to this enzyme, oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is produced. No sugar is produced, so it is called photorespiration. And this one takes place only in presence of light. Okay. It is it always takes place in presence of of light and particularly in high light intensity. Intensity at a high temperature. But the main thing is that in high, higher oxygen concentration, the so oxygen concentration Oxygen concentration affect affect the rate of photosynthesis. This is there is a decrease. And this is called that the decrease in the rate of uh, rate of photosynthesis due to high oxygen concentration is also known as Wargberg effect. Wargberg effect. Okay. And Wargberg effect is due to what? Wargberg effect is due to photorespiration. That is the cause of Wargberg's effect is respiration now in c4 plant in c4 plant photorespiration then is almost nil, okay? But there is no photorespiration in C4 plant. Why? You only photorespiration is only in C3 plant. Why it is not there? So in C4 plant, In C4 plant, what happened? The Calvin cycle, Calvin cycle operate where? Calvin cycle operate in the chloroplast of, of bundle seed cell. Is it? It is in the bundle seed cell. 
and in C4 plan, the initial carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide is initially absorbed by whom? By PEP and it, it produces oxaloacetic acid and then it produces malic acid. Those are C4 acid. These are all C4 acids. Is it? And it is initial carbon dioxide absorption is in presence of PP carboxylase, PPKs, PP carboxylase. This malic acid, when it breaks, it releases carbon dioxide in the bundle seed cell. In bundle seed cells. So bundle seed cell is having high concentration of carbon dioxide. Okay, so in the bundle seed cell, high concentration of carbon dioxide is maintained by this C4 cycle. Okay, and when this then here the carbon dioxide is absorbed by Ru BP and it produces PGA two molecule in presence of that Rubisco enzyme. Okay. in presence of Rubisco enzyme. But here that as the carbon dioxide concentration is high and oxygen is very low. So this Rubisco always function as carboxygenase. It cannot function as oxygenase. So mainly it function as a carboxygenase and carboxylation reaction is carried out. So the Calvin cycle or C3 cycle operate very smoothly here. Okay, so no photorespiration. Because if oxygen is there, then only Rubisco will help to absorb oxygen. But in the bundle seed cell, very high carbon dioxide concentration is maintained and there is no oxygen. So oxygen is not absorbed, so the photorespiration does not take place. And that is why the C4 plant have very high rate of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. And they are very efficient. in terms of photosynthesis. But C3 plant, both things occur. That photorespiration takes place. So naturally that rate of photosynthesis is decreased. The rate of Photosynthesis is low due to 
due to photorespiration. Okay. This photorespiration, this one, photorespiration is wasteful process. There is a wasteful process, not useful. It is why normally we know that in the photorespiration, by respiration, what happens? ATP is produced. But in this, this is a photorespiration. Here, there is no production of ATP. No production of ATP, neither it produces NADPH nor it produces sugar. In a state during this the photorespiration to run, it consumes ATP. So it is all the way, all, from all sides it is negative. It has a negative effect on the plant. It is not producing ATP for the plant. It is not producing sugar for the plant. Okay. And instead not producing sugar, but it is decreasing the sugar production. sugar production, that is food production. So it is a wasteful process. You can go through this written material is there. Okay, photorespiration is a wasteful process. This in C4 plants, photorespiration does not occur. Now next is come to that uh, the factor factors Influencing photosynthesis. The factors for any biological process or biochemical process that is influenced by different factors. This factor, this factor may be internal. or external. The internal factor or this is also known as plant factor. Okay. Plant factor that is which is present within the plant or the causes that is present within the plant. The internal factor is, say, photosynthesis occurs in the leaves. 
so naturally that the presence or absence of leaves okay that is availability the leaf size the density that area of leaves and how long it is present on the plant then within the uh, for the photosynthesis within leaf there is uh, that presence of the mesophyll cell and within that is the chlorophyll cell chlorophyll containing cell that is the chloroplast how much chloroplast is present within the chloroplast what is the quantity of the chlorophyll is present these things influence then the internal concentration of carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is required so internal carbon dioxide concentration that also the these are the internal factors in the external factor which is not within the plant outside the plant external factor that is the one is carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere concentration in atmosphere there is light light color of light is there and also intensity of light that light intensity then these two are the main of course oxygen level also within the these things are more or less it is the balance in a balance way almost is the concentration is fixed so these are usually the factors and all the biochemical process there of course it is influenced by the temperature is it so carbon dioxide concentration light and temperature another thing is there that is the water of course in most of the cases water is not the limiting factor usually plants get more or less uh, enough water to carry out the photosynthesis so this one is usually not the limiting factor but sometime during the period of drought etc the water is also become a limiting factor one the uh, principle is there that is uh, which is uh, known as the black man's black man's law of limiting factor here you can see from so the black man's law of limiting factor this says this black man's law of limiting factor is applicable where a particular process is influenced by more than one factor then only black man's law of limiting factor is applicable that is more than one factor and this is applicable 
for photosynthesis also is it because photosynthesis is influenced by mainly carbon dioxide concentration it is influenced by light intensity it is influenced by the temperature it is influenced by the chlorophyll content so it is the uh, black man's law of limiting factor is applicable what it says that if a chemical if a chemical process is affected by more than one factor okay say like here if it is affected by more than one factor then the rate of the process the rate of the process will be determined by the factor <coughs> who will determine the factor the it will determine the, by the factor which is nearest to its minimal value the one which is present in its lowest value that factor will control the rate of the process it is directly affect the process if its quantity is change say the uh, say uh, if carbon dioxide concentration is really it is in the 0.03 percent in the atmosphere okay this one is sufficient to produce photosynthesis to carry out photosynthesis say you uh, supply other things say you are increasing the temperature or you are increasing the light intensity light intensity is required okay and given enough chlorophyll then initially the with the rise with the rise in the same if i change only one character say the temperature increasing with the rise of the temperature maybe initially the rate of photosynthesis will increase but after that the rate of photosynthesis will not change this become a limit this is because that the carbon dioxide which is present to reduce to be reduced that is not in excess supply so due to the carbon dioxide supply the rate of photosynthesis will be checked it will not increase after a certain rate so it will become flat rate will remain constant but after that all other things remain the same but if you increase the carbon dioxide concentration then this rate of photosynthesis will increase so here you can uh, you can understand the process with uh, So here, this yeah. 
there is a say the this graph can explain the that black man's law of limiting factor by showing different factor when one factor becoming limiting the other factors so they are in sufficient amount they are present but the rate of reaction rate of photosynthesis will not increase okay yet so this one that uh, two things this uh, two things has been uh, taken two factor one is the light intensity and here this side is photosynthesis okay here naturally the all other things has been supplied the so carbon dioxide has been supplied in sufficient amount the chlorophylls are all sufficient water is enough water is there so with the rise in the light intensity say here the light intensity is minimum but if we increase the light intensity then what we can see this side is the rate of photosynthesis if we increase the uh, light intensity the rate of photosynthesis also is increasing okay so graph is increasing in a linear way but after some time these things though light and up light has been and uh, up light has been given the rate of photosynthesis is not increasing because the other factor say the other factor like the carbon dioxide or it is the temperature or it is the amount of chlorophyll or the enzymes those things has become limited so the photosynthesis after increasing up to a certain limit then the rate will not increase it will not go in this way but it is flat it shows that the rate of photosynthesis is not increased then if say if this has been checked by due to carbon dioxide now if you increase the carbon dioxide again the rate of photosynthesis will increase so here is the this uh, in carbon dioxide concentration okay this carbon dioxide concentration up to carbon dioxide concentration is in the year it is 0.03% uh, okay at this level the photosynthesis uh, takes place if we increase the concentration if it increases by 0.04% the rate of photosynthesis will increase but after that if the carbon dioxide concentration is further increase the rate of photosynthesis will not increase because at that time the carbon dioxide when it dissolved in in water that forms acid and that become become a negative effect and it is poisonous and then the rate of photosynthesis will decrease or 
it will not increase further means so with the increase in carbon dioxide concentration rate of photosynthesis increases up to a certain limit and beyond that it is again drop of course this is this is higher in the c4 plants Uh, like uh, in the similar way light also light also affect okay in low light intensity if we increase the light intensity on the lower side when the light intensity is low and then light intensity is increase the rate of photosynthesis increases but if light sentence intensity is very high then the rate of photosynthesis will not increase but it will decrease because effect of light on the chlorophyll molecule will be there and the chlorophyll will be damaged due to the high light intensity and the rate of photosynthesis will decrease in the similar way the uh, temperature also is there temperature with the rise in temperature the rate of photosynthesis increasing increases but up to a certain limit up to certain limit this uh, optimal temperature that is at uh, the temperature at which the rate of photosynthesis is maximum that is the optimal or optimum temperature optimum temperature optimum light intensity optimum uh, carbon dioxide concentration this is the concentration or the quantity at which a biological process that takes place at its maximum okay so optimum temperature for c3 plant it is low but for c4 plant it is high c4 plant can bear the higher temperature high temperature is suitable for the c4 plant but for the c3 plant if the temperature is high it is it is below 30 degree the photosynthesis occur better in c3 plant but c4 plant beyond 30 also it will carry out photosynthesis in a better way water that is as i told before that water is not usually a limiting factor only during the process of drought okay of course the of course that water influence the process in several way water for the photosynthesis it is the source of hydrogen okay at the same time other things are also involved because all the biological process all the chemical reaction everything it occur in water medium okay so that the water or the system it must be hydrated okay so this is all about the photosynthesis hmm. if you have any question from here you can ask from the factor is really usually this question is asked that blackman's law of limiting factor 
and also which concentration, which temperature, what is the relationship between the rate of photosynthesis and other factors. From here, we, we get question in the NEET exam also. Okay. And in the next class, okay, in next class, I will discuss the um, multiple choice question for need. Okay. And all question will be based on the photosynthesis. So next class will be discussion for need question based on photosynthesis. Okay. Anything, any question? No, sir. No. Okay, then for the next next class, you prepare, you go through the all these, all this what has been taught. You go through your books also and this lecture. Okay, all the lectures and notes you have got in this in these videos you will get. So from there, I will give you questions. About 30, 40 questions will be discussed. All right. So by today, I will close it.